<clears throat> Hello everybody, I'm going to be servicing my ceramic speed oversized pulleys on my 2019 Trek Madone. So as you can see, I've already taken the wheel and the chain off. And on the back side of it, this is really simple. There are four screws that you're going to need an Allen wrench for. And I'm going to remove those and I'll be right back. This is going to be for a deep clean. If you're just re-greasing them, you know, you just want to put some grease right here, let it run into the seals. Uh, but we're going to be doing a complete disassemble, deep clean, and then uh, re-grease them. All right, be right back. Now, as you can see, I've removed all of the bolts, except for this last one. And then as soon as we get these screws out, this is going to come off. And there it is. So you can see that this literally just goes in there. The four screws hold it on, take them out, make sure you keep them in order. I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to go ahead and clean the whole thing really well. And um, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've cleaned these up, you can see that they spin just sitting there and they actually just slide right off. Now, if you notice on here, there's actually an arrow right there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Um, that shows you which way that they need to go on to spin so that when you reinstall them, make sure you put them the right way. So we're going to go ahead and take these things off and I'll be right back. We're going to set them on the table so we can take the seals off. Um, and get a really good job cleaning them out and getting them re-greased. All right, be back in a sec. So once again, I've cleaned them both up and we're gonna slide them off. Remember the writing, actually the writing goes on the outside of the bike, but you can see which way the lower one spins. So this is the lower pulley, so it spins forward, which matches which way that arrow shows. In fact, if I just show you on this side, you can see that the spin with that arrow right there goes this way same thing with that so again we're going to take these off we'll clean this up in a second but i'll be right back on how to get the uh side gasket off so be right back okay now we're back next thing we want to do is to uh take off the gasket right here um, i recommend just a razor blade um, and just be really really caref careful um, so just reach in here, just want to grab the outer wall and just literally pop it up. Boom. And you can see that side goes to the inside. So we're going to set that out here, turn it over. There's the other side. You can see the uh, ceramic bearing in there now. These actually sound really clean. So still going to clean them out and do a deep clean. It's been about a year. Um, and then let's do the smaller one. There it is. And the other side. There it is. Again, you can see the bearing right there. Sounds really clean, actually. But I'll be right back. We're going to get some degreaser, shoot them down, and uh, we'll be right back in here. Okay, we're back. So we're going to get some good old degreaser, shoot it in here, really get it soaked in there. I'm doing this in the, the kitchen sink, which if my girlfriend saw, I don't think she'd like, but she's upstairs. So let's knock this out before she comes. Just using a toothbrush to get in there and get all that loose grease, any uh, road grime, anything that causes friction. Sounds smooth as can be. So give these a rinse. <coughs> Man, that's strong. Or I have Corona, one of the two. Okay, now let's do the smaller one. <coughs> Man, the 
engine greaser. Shoot it, squirt it down. Give it a scrub. Looks good. Spray it one more time. Looks good. Okay, see you in a sec. Be right back. Okay, now, they're, now that they are nice and clean, we are going to dry them out as best we can. And I'm actually gonna set them on top of a fan and let the fan get all of the water out. Um, so I'm just gonna blow dry them basically. Uh, make sure there's no moisture inside of them, and then we're going to put some new uh, some new ceramic speed grease in them. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get these things dried up, and we'll be right, be right back. Okay, guys, now I'm back. I actually used a uh, fan to blow dry these things out. They are completely quiet. There's actually no grease in them right now, but they're completely clean and uh, ready to go. So before I put the grease pulley well oil. Um, I'm going to put one of the gaskets on the opposite side. So we're going to flip these over, put the gasket on, and you actually just work your finger around and you can squeeze it right back in. It's really, really simple. So that's in. Flip this over. We'll put this one on. You can see it working its way inside. You can hear it click all the way around until it seats. So I've got one side in. Since that side's in, flip them over. And we are going to put a couple of drops of grease in here. Boom. A couple drops in here. Pick them up, spin them, let them just work the grease all the way around. Same thing for the front one, just spin it. Then we can pop the other side on. Work it all the way around. You can see easily when it's seated inside. But that's this one in. Work it around. Boom. You can see how it gets all the way in there. You'll see, see some grease coming through. Now that that's done, clean them up a little. We've got some excess grease hanging out. And these bad boys are ready to go back on. Be right back. Okay, now it's time to put them back on the system here. So remember, they have arrows that tell you the spin direction. So the larger size, this is the lower one, goes on the back, has that direction that it spins. The top goes back on, ready to roll. And then we're gonna put this guard back on, the assembly, put the four screws back in, so I'll be right back with that on. As you can see, I got the assembly back together. Um, I'm just getting all the screws on finger tight. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So once that's on, tighten these down, and uh, these things are ready to go for another year. I hope that was helpful. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day out there. Talk to you soon. Bye.